These are the 50 most important Excel keyboard shortcuts. This video is meant to give you the first 50 Excel keyboard shortcuts that you can learn. You may already know a few and you may wish that there were a few more specific ones so you could finally throw away your mouse and forget about it, but this will be your best starting point. Using Excel without a mouse can drastically increase your speed, which will allow you to maximize so much more shareholder value in the same amount of time. And just about everyone who uses Excel with a mouse will probably tell you the same thing. Using keyboard shortcuts only probably won't save you any time. Well, guess what? they are 100% wrong. On top of that, it's just extremely cool. So I'll be walking you through my top 50 Excel keyboard shortcuts for beginners. Make sure to like this video, subscribe so you don't miss future videos, and let me know in the comments what your favorite Excel keyboard shortcuts are. And if you're interested in this Excel Freak in the Sheets shirt, mug or computer sticker and so much more check out the link in my bio we'll start with some basic file management tricks Control n takes you to the new workbooks tab use the arrow keys to navigate within a section and the tab key to switch sections Control o does the same thing with opening a workbook hit Control s to save a workbook and make sure to do this often Control p to print a workbook and Control w to close a workbook and if you want to close excel hit alt f4 make sure to always Control s before you alt f4 moving on to some more general shortcuts Control z will un do your last selection and control Y will redo what you just undid. Control C is to copy, control X is to cut, and control V is to paste. Control F is the keyboard shortcut to find something specific in your spreadsheet, or control H is to replace. Use the tab key to toggle between different inputs and selections and hit enter to press a button. Now let's talk about navigation keyboard shortcuts. This is likely where you're going to see the greatest efficiency boost when building your spreadsheets. Use the arrow keys to move between cells. Hold control and hit your arrow key to jump to the edge of a data region. This means that if I have multiple rows that are filled in and I start a few cells below, hitting control up will bring me to the bottom, again will bring me to the top, and again will bring me to the bottom of the next one or the top of the spreadsheet. Hitting it when there is no data region in that direction will bring you to the edge of the spreadsheet. For example, hitting control down on an empty row will take you to the bottom of the spreadsheet. Hitting the home key takes you to the beginning of a row and hitting control home takes you to cell A1. You can scroll up and down through your spreadsheet using the page up, page down keys, and you can scroll left and right by holding down alt and using the page up, page down keys. Alt page down goes to the right and alt page up goes to the left. Holding control and using the page up and down keys allow you to switch between your worksheets. Control tab lets you switch between open worksheets. Now let's talk about some basic formatting. Most of you probably know these already, but hit control B to bold, control I to italicize, and control U to underline. Pressing control five puts a strike through through the text. Control shift dollar sign to format as a currency, control shift percent to format as a percent, control shift number sign to format as a date, control shift at to format as a time, and control shift shift exclamation mark to format as a number. Hitting control one opens the dialog box where you can use arrow keys to switch between number formatting options, alignment, font, border, fill, and cell protection options. Use the tab key to toggle between sections and the arrow keys to toggle within sections. Here you will have many more formatting options. There are keyboard shortcuts to do everything within the dialog box without actually opening it, but this way you only need to know one keyboard shortcut instead of memorizing a whole bunch. If you want me to make more videos with more advanced Excel keyboard shortcuts, be sure to let me know in the comments. That being said, I'll go through a few important ones right now. Alt H0 will increase the number of decimal places by one and Alt H9 will decrease it by one. Alt HFS, then using your up and down arrow keys or typing in a number, will allow you to change your font size. Alt HB opens the border menu where you can use your arrow keys to select what border you want. There is a way to insert specific types of borders by hitting another key, each of which adds a specific border type, but that's for a more advanced video. You can hit Alt HH and use the arrow keys to select a color that you want to fill your cell. Alt HA and and then L is to align things to the left, C is to align things to the center, and R is to align things to the right. Now we'll take a look at some beginner data selection and manipulation Excel keyboard shortcuts. Control A selects your entire spreadsheet. Control spacebar will highlight your column and shift spacebar will highlight your row. When something is highlighted, anything you do will apply to the highlighted area. If I highlight a column and then hit Control B, the entire column will be bolded. If you press Control Shift Plus, you can use your arrow keys to insert a cell, an entire row, or an entire column. Control minus does the same thing, but to delete them. Alternatively, if you have a column already selected and you hit Control Shift Plus, a new column will be inserted to the left. The same thing goes for rows, except it will be inserted on top. This is my preferred way of inserting rows and columns, as you can press Control Shift Plus as many times as you like, and you can keep inserting rows and columns. Pressing Control minus while you have one or multiple rows or columns selected will delete them all. If, while a row or column is selected, you continue to hold Shift and 
press the arrow keys, it will continue to select more rows or columns in that direction. If you have two rows or columns selected and you hit Control Shift Plus, then two rows will be added. The same goes with any number of rows selected. Holding Shift and using the arrow keys will select cells in that specific direction. Remember how Control and the arrow keys let you jump to the edge of a data region? If you do that while holding Shift, the same thing happens except it selects everything. If you highlight some cells and there's something at the top, hit Control D to fill down and Control R to fill to the right. This even works for multiple rows and columns. It also works for formulas and many other forms of data. If you have a data region and you want to make it a table, while over a cell in that region, press Control T. If you're over a cell and you press F2, it lets you edit whatever's in that cell. Using the arrow keys will now navigate through the letters in that cell, rather than through the spreadsheet. Press enter to exit this. Holding shift, then pressing F2 will allow you to add or edit a comment that will be viewable within the spreadsheet. Pressing alt and C3 will allow you to add a comment that does not appear on the spreadsheet. After writing your comment, press control enter to post. Learning these 50 Excel keyboard shortcuts will make you significantly faster in Excel and you can brag to all of your friends that you know how to use Excel without a mouse. If you wanna see more of these videos, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what your favorite Excel keyboard shortcuts are.